Hello survivors, hello friends and family. This is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life with other and other disappointing experiences with a fun video that has changed our decorating for the fall. In this bottle is a magic solution to the problem of squirrels eating our pumpkins. Stay tuned and find out what's in this magic concoction. Last year we placed the pumpkins that we carved with our grandchildren out on the front and uh, it was fine for a day or two. Then suddenly one afternoon I went out to look and what did I find? The squirrels had eaten our pumpkin and they were continuing to do so. So we looked now for um, a solution. We sprayed it with Repel which didn't work. But I had been reading somewhere that if you take hairspray, which would leave the pumpkin a little sticky, and spray it on the pumpkin, um, that helps uh, a lot. They don't like that texture, I guess it is. But I went one step further. I took some cayenne pepper and sprayed the cayenne pepper, uh, shook the cayenne pepper onto the pumpkin. I waited a little too long. I should have been ready with the cayenne because a lot of the cayenne came off. Um, and it does leave the residue of the cayenne, so you don't want to touch the pumpkin with bare hands. Uh, I brushed some off just for aesthetics. And um, then I put the pumpkin back where it was to see. This was a uneaten one to see how that fared compared to the others. Uh, we had to throw some of them out almost immediately. Well, here's another one we put out without any treatment. And here's the one with the cayenne. It worked. So there's one solution we came up with. This year I got it into my head that if the cayenne pepper worked with hairspray, uh, the squirrels didn't like the heat, um, perhaps hot pepper sauce, hot chili sauce. We have uh, Tabasco peppers in the garden, which are very, very hot, uh, in some vegetable oil, because um, I've learned that if you paint the bottom of a tulip with cayenne, infu with a oil inf infused with cayenne pepper, the squirrels won't deadhead them uh, before they have finished blooming. So um, I decided to try this concoction. It's very simple. Um, I had the bottom of some, a bottom uh, of some vegetable oil left over. Took that outside, put, uh, I don't know, a very, very, very generous portion of hot pepper sauce um, into the vegetable oil. And I shook it and shook it and shook it and mixed it all up. It did form a pretty good emulsion. Then I had an old uh, cleaning um, solution spray bottle. I filled that with the uh, mixture of the oil and the hot pepper sauce. Uh, figured I'd spray this on the pumpkins and uh, see what would happen. If this works, I'll use that uh, on my tulips as well. Um, so um, let's see how this is going to work. Well, I can tell you now it did work, but uh, I'll show you. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, Mama. Look at you. Oh, you want some nuts? I don't have them up there just yet. Oh, I feed this one, and it's become very fond of me, very fond of our tomatoes. <laughs> we live in a section called Westwood and it's called Westwood because it is filled with trees many of them oak trees and with oak trees come 
squirrels because with oak trees come acorns, acorns bring squirrels. Just want to show you briefly our neighbors, sorry for the uh, jumping around, I didn't use my gimbal today. I want to show you what happened to the neighbors pumpkins um, and they were put out around the same time ours were. Let me show you what happened. Squirrels got in and tore it all apart. By the end of the week it'll be nothing. Now let me walk you back to our pumpkins which have been out I think this is the third week already. There's a spider in the whatever that is called. Scary spider. Scary spider. So anyway, here are our pumpkins. We have four pumpkins and the one down in the hole there, way down there is a plastic from Michael's. But these are pumpkins that have been out over three weeks, same time as the other pumpkins. And all I've done is taken my spray bottle of Tabasco oil and sprayed them. Get them a little saturated and the squirrels have not gone anywhere near them. Yeah. And it rains because it's oil, it doesn't wash off. I find it a prettier uh, solution than the cayenne pepper. Um, so I hope this little hint will help you preserve your pumpkins. If you're going to touch them, wear gloves after you spray them because uh, once you get this on your skin, it's very hard to get off, especially with the oil. Um, so thank you for watching this quick little tidbit, uh, an addition to the previous video on pumpkins. And uh, I hope this works for you. We've been very, very successful. And uh, now let's just say goodbye to our Halloween friend hanging in the trellis. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stay tuned for other nice, exciting videos. If you like this kind of thing and my crafting, please subscribe. And importantly, please share with folk who might be uh, interested in the same kinds of things. Thank you very much. Bye for now.